First off, before I start this review of Berserk Boy, I'd like to say thank you all for the support. We had 1402 subscribers, still getting our watch hours up, but I appreciate y'all. So for no, new people that's checking out this review, hit that like and subscribe button and that notification bell. All right, let's get into this review. Just letting you know straight up, I did not get this for free. I purchased this for myself because I anticipated this game. Berserk Boy has been in development for years. They had many alphas, many betas, and demos, which is still available on Steam right now. You can check it out also on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Xboxes, PC, of course. Berserk Boy, what is it? It's a Mega Man style game. Let's just get that out the way, yes. Mega Man style games have been going on for years getting better each time. Some people don't do it so well, other people's perfect it. This is one of those cases. Berserk Boy takes modern controls and gives you a nice experience. Especially being that it's on sale for $18 right now, originally 20 bucks. You get a lot more for your buck because when you get games like this, you got a lot of replay value. And that's actually great in many games that doesn't have to deal with a lot of microtransactions. But let's get into the story. You play as a character named Kai. K. Key? K. Key, I, key, I, I, mm, I want to say K. Either way, he's part of the resistance. Honestly, it's still iffy on if it was a choice, but nah, you get thrown into it, you absorb a special orb from a different enemy, and boom, you become a superhero. And you must go berserk to save humanity against this freaking darkness, this evil scientist, of course with evil robots, and you join the resistance to battle these robots. Now this is gonna be a spoiler free review. Even though the game has been out for a couple of weeks right now, I still don't wanna spoil much. But you get the same premise. You have to go out there, fight different bosses, gain their powers to use that on different stages because each stage will have you use a special ability to take on that boss. But the best news about this is that each stage will have you use all your abilities to find certain secrets, find more resistance fighters. You will need a certain power up to get to certain areas, and that's actually pretty cool. I like that a lot. And they are all unique and interesting because this is a mixture of both long range and close range fighting. But your first ability is electric, where you have to use your own body as an electric bolt to take on other ability, other enemies. And you can go back to your home to talk to the scientists, to enhance your abilities with the points that you gather throughout each stage. And yes, this is a grueling game. But in my defense, I am impatient. <laughs> I, it's honestly, it's really idiot proof to play this game because it, it shows you what you can get into, how you play. It gives you a lot of tutorials, which is freaking awesome, very user friendly. But when I die at certain times, I get impatient. It turns me into a amateur speed run because these games actually do give you that feeling to speed to try to get through as fast as possible instead of just actually assessing the situation and I end up dying a lot. And I found out, yes, you can get negative points for dying too much because at the end of each stage, you get a grade system and you lose points the amount of times you died. I ain't gonna lie. I died 17 times on one match and I'm assuming depending on how difficult the level is will determine how much of a score you get because mostly I got A's but this time I got an E and I guess because the level wasn't that hard and when I died so many times and it was only and honestly it was like I said my fault for not really assessing the situation with this one area that kept on I killing myself because I wasn't patient so I got negative points and I felt embarrassed, I'm not gonna lie. But you can always go back and do it again. The game, this is where the grind comes in. Cause if you wanna get all the special abilities for all your power ups, you can just grind each level over and over again to get a better score, to get a, S rank is top tier of course. And that is fun, I like, I like games like this because it gives you the ambition to either go through the game, getting all the power ups and then head back, get all the secret stuff, and then, you know, move forward. There's also EX level stages that gives it a harder difficulty. But once you have all your abilities, it's kind of like your own version of New Game Plus. 
which is pretty cool. Like I said, great game. Visually speaking, it is, yo, know, kudos to the designer of Berserk Boy. The levels, the characters, and the sound design are all wonderful. Very anime, and makes me wish for a figurine merch or an anime in the future. Music composed by Sonic Mania composer T. Lopez is a plus and drives the action in the right direction. I love it. Honestly, I don't really have nothing bad to say about it. Like I said, it's all under skill issue because I could complain about, you know, some of the, um, I felt like there was a little bit of lag with some of the abilities, especially when you have to jump up and use your ability to get to higher areas. But now nah, that was just me not being patient enough to actually point in the right direction to do it. It's, it's actually pretty smooth. <laughs> for this game. This game feels... Honestly, I would pay the $40 for this game. This game is actually fun as hell. But, as my final thoughts going, not going to spoil anything further, honestly, real talk. The bosses are great. There is light dialogue going on throughout each mission, and you got bubbly characters to help you out, especially his little companion, Fiori, and then you got Dizzy, who I want to say is his best friend or sister. They even got a shrimp area where you where you fly around and you can you can shoot around while she's it's crazy like i said i don't want to spoil too much there's a lot of great nostalgic with modern style gameplay that you can all get into so right now like i said 18 dollars is 10 percent off you can pick it up on the playstations the nintendo switch xboxes and pc on steam masses replay value i love it and my final score is going to be a five out of five beastly paws check out berserk boy right now there's a demo available so you can try it out before you buy you gotta love that i love that demos for games should be more of a thing like just because just this is a game that somebody was confident in their work and i appreciate that but on that yo again thank you all for watching let me know your thoughts if you're playing berserk boy what is your favorite power up let's discuss this and as always beast out